What's up guys, this is Share Talking, welcome back to my channel, in today's video, let's talk about Remembrance Battle vs Carmine using swords. It's very easy, especially if you summon it for some very popular characters. We got a selector ticket during anniversary for Saga Soul Unit, so Jorg is available to most people, and he's good because he gives Screw Guard to decrease the damage taken. So, the secret of this fight is to bring this platinum version of Johan because he has access to poison, and poison will do 10% of the HP of boss uh, every turn. So, you can just wait for it to die using it for 10 turns, or you can speed it up and reach overdrive and try to kill it by turn 7 or turn 8. It will work if you have very strong damage dealers, and I brought some support. Of course, with Chef Polka, he has access to Steel Blade Phoenix via Inheritance to heal. If you don't have Polka, you can bring um, Mirza, he will also work, but he's much more fragile and he always counters. Uh, I don't know if that's so good. Polka uh, will also taunt with Steel Blade Phoenix, but I'll not be using this all the time, only when needed. Remember that Jor can also heal if you need, use him instead. Uh, then I had Urpina and Arthur, because you still need to kill the minions. If you do not have Arthur, it's not a problem. It's just that he is very strong to kill the minions. Start using Gleaming Slash, then go and do Infinite Sword if you really need more power or to attack the boss. And Urpina just has Cross Break, because Inheritance is pretty powerful. Now as for equipment, as you can see, I equipped the Null with helmets, because this will increase blunt resistance, something that they lack, and boss has lots of attacks that have blunt damage and are very strong. And you can bring ailments accessory just like the gold feather charm to try to protect against some ailments, but they are not that often, and even then, these enemies don't have high will. So this fight is one of the easiest ones if you have Polka and Johan fully trained. The formation I will be using most of the challenges is Will Wind because this one buffs agility and you need to go before the enemy heals when the countdown reaches zero. And some other formations decreases action order or decreases speed and you will lose one turn when attacking them. So you cannot wait till it reaches zero. That's why Will Wind will be one of the best ones. Protect the cards that don't have good passives in the first three slot. Place the ones that are already very defensive in the back.